Alrighty, what's up YouTube? So, let's talk about something. Um, what's what's going on here? So, what are the business plans, so to speak? Well, basically, all I'm trying to do is make myself so valuable to either myself. And, let me back up. Structural MD, I don't really have a big preference if it works. Obviously, I'm going to try and make it work. Um, but really, all I'm doing is trying to make myself so valuable to a company or clients that they have to pick me um, I've actually this is weird to say consider going back to school to get <laughs> my doctorate in data analytics and I never really thought I'd say that but especially specifically civil engineering speaking there's gonna be a lot of data created uh, with autonomous cars I don't know when they're going to come out, three years, five years, ten years. The technology's here. It's the moral and legal stuff that's not. Um, because an autonomous car is artificial intelligence, it changes programming over time, what happens when this happens. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be worked out. So I don't know when that's going to be here. But nonetheless, basically those cars are mapping 24-7, 365 on the road. And there's going to be a lot of data and a lot of information to sift through. Uh, and I just want to be prepared for when this this gets here data analytics is the hardest thing in the world uh, we have so much data and no one knows what to do with all of it and we're sort of drowning in the data that's getting data is like the easiest thing in the world now that's not hard it's actually understanding and making it actionable and usable that's hard um, when it comes to the drone just first mover thing i mean at the part 107 hasn't been out for a year uh, just recognize the opportunity and went on it uh, a lot of companies don't want to take the risk, this, that, and the other thing. I mean, what, what do I have? I don't have much to lose, really. Just don't. And this goes back to a bigger picture. And the people that are watching this, I hope you take this to heart. The world used to be, or the business or company, whatever, workplace landscape, used to be a state playoff game or state championship game really you only had to compete with the people that you graduated from school that were in your region maybe in the country things like that and right now business workplace i don't care what your industry is is the olympics you're competing against everyone in the world because of the internet i don't think people realize the capability of the internet it's only 20 years old we're still figuring it out when vr gets here and you're interacting in collaborative rooms with people it's going to be a whole nother level. So people think like you're just competing with the people you graduated from school or the people that you went to high school with or this, that, and the other. I don't think they realize that you're competing against everyone in other countries and that have, especially if you live in the United States, they have a lower cost of living than we do so they can undercut your prices and they just, I don't think people realize how competitive the landscape is. To parlay that, we also live in a generation that either is hungry or not. Um, and I think that's going to play a huge role. Just be, and I, I, honestly, this is going to. This isn't politically correct, but whatever. The the, the gap between the haves and the have-nots is just going to grow. And I'm just that's my that's my thoughts because people, either millennials are extremely lazy and want handouts, or they're hungry and they want to work for it. And it's completely two opposite ends of the spectrums. And the ones that are lazy don't realize how competitive the landscape is like all you're watching like yeah it's just competitive and it just plays to people who want it because opportunity is there uh, so going back to structure D what am I doing right now so I got my drone license I'm um, gonna go get some on hand hands-on training hopefully in the next month or so uh, and then the plan is to buy just a used drone nothing nothing special uh, spend the rest of the summer and fall learning it, not flying in the winter. Maybe do some simple film photography in the area for people that need it. Uh, and then what the plan is next summer is to really go hard after surveying companies, construction companies, things like that. Offer my drone services. Uh, the, hopefully the Department of Transportation in the state of Ohio opens up bridge inspections like they're rumored to next summer. So then I'll be doing flying for that. Um, also looking at buying a used VR headset, uh, just a starter pack, so to speak, and get into more of doing VR for people 
uh, building models specifically for the small to mid-sized engineering companies uh, parlaying the revenue from those two items into uh, machine learning and flipping that into the app that we're currently working on which is going to take years of development it's a very ambitious goal so we're just going to start small and go from there and that's the reason why i've considered going back to grad school to uh, learn machine learning computer science um, just considered it i've already started learning shit online and we'll kind of see where that gets me started again growing a network of people that are into machine learning and have the computer science background because i'm the wrong type of engineer um, that's really the business plan, so to speak. That's the strategy. And uh, just right now, I'm trying to step up social media, get back in the game with more engineering content. And um, I'll keep turning around reverse engineering, simple CAD work, uh, that kind of stuff for clients uh, because it's easy, it's low hanging fruit, generates revenue, and that's great. But those are kind of where things are at. And I definitely wanted to focus today on a more business talk because I'm going to go go hang out with the family this evening, this afternoon, and I don't feel like vlogging it. Maybe I'll insert some cool screenshots from Snapchat or something, but again, I'm not I'm not trying to do a, a day in the life, so to speak, vlogging typical found on YouTube. I don't want to be a fitness YouTuber. I think that's not my style. I think it's boring. I just work out. What, I don't want to watch that either, but I definitely think documenting the journey of someone starting something and getting to it to where it is is highly cool and valuable, especially as it grows. Not to mention, I don't remember what number it was. I think it's Document the Journey 61, where I kind of talk about how I got to this point um, from stock trading in 2015, 2016 to where I'm at now in 2017. I think it's going to be really interesting. I wish I would have done it sooner, but I just never thought of it. I never thought it was valuable, and I was also very scared. And I'm still kind of scared to vlog in front of people, but. You know, that's something I need to get over. I think that'll happen with time. I mean, we're only into, what is this going to be, like 72, 73? That's a long way to go. I just think it's going to be a very interesting piece of content to have documenting the journey. Again, I explained in a video why I'm doing it. You know, just showing the work.